What's up guys, Up Maniac here, and uh, right now I'm going to be doing a video that a lot of you have actually asked for since uh, you've seen my video, I don't know why I turned that sideways, <laughs> since you saw my video on how to get the Game Boy ADX Plus, which is a Game Boy Color emulator for your iPod Touch, and a lot of you have been asking me, how do you save in this, and uh, I've told in the comments numerous times, but I'm just going to make a video so it's easy so everyone can figure it out. So right here, as you can see, you have eight save slots. There are eight separate ones. Um, I believe you can only save one type of game. So like, say, I only have Pokemon, so I can't verify this. But if you have, say, another one, like, I don't know, what other game you get, Super Mario, I think you can only save one game, which is why they give you eight slots. Now right here, what's really cool, uh, it's not loading the whole thing. But when you click on the save state, it shows you what pre a preview of what is saved. So right now it's showing me where I'm saved in that Pokemon and all the other ones. We'll say nothing saved in this slot because obviously there is nothing saved in that slot. Whoops. Okay. So we're going to go to a 1, to 0. So when you start up the game, you just hit the emulator and it starts up. Now what you want to do to load the game is you see this little circle in the top right corner that says L. You just tap that and it will load it. It will load wherever you saved. Now you're probably wondering, I don't have a save state yet, so how am I going to load it? Well, that is right up here in the top left corner where it says a circle with an S in it. So you hit that S, it says save state zero. So now if I go to the menu, I open this back up, it starts over and you're like, oh, I lost everything. Nope, just hit load and look at that. I am back where I was next to this berry bush and uh, this little house. So if I switch save states... I can go back and now if I hit load it's not gonna load it because it's a totally separate state you can have say eight different characters on Pokemon or whatever eight different spots in the game that's what that for so if you ever are having trouble loading it up whoops just close it if you're ever having trouble loading up your save state make sure you are on an active save state and not one that is empty oh crap <laughs> I just lost my save Thanks for crashing, Pokemon. <laughs> that is just perfect timing. It just crashed on me. Awesome. Well, I just showed you guys how to save, so that's how you do it. You don't have to save through the normal Pokemon game way. Pretty sure that'll end up erasing itself. I don't know what just happened here. Uh, I'll try and figure that out, but that really sucks. I don't play this much anymore, so that, it's not that big of a deal. Now, if you haven't seen my video on how to get this po this uh, Game Boy emulator and you would like to know how, click on the right side of the screen and if you would like to figure out how to install ROMs and you don't know how to do that click on the left side of the screen and you will see a video for that so both sides of the screen are a link if you want to watch either of those videos I hope this helped you guys out a lot and I will see you next time just a quick correction at the end of the video uh, it actually did not ruin my save state I don't know why it was saying it was showing a picture like this before so I kinda figured yeah it erased my save state no it actually didn't if you go back to the zero come on one more over there <laughs> it's hard when I'm looking through the camera now I go into here and I hit load it is still next to this little berry bush so it's all good I don't have to worry about losing my my Charmant. I don't know what the guy. Let's see. Who did I pick? Cyndaquil? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Anyways, it's all good. So it didn't crash. Don't worry about it crashing on you. That was my mistake in figuring out what it was. Anyways, see you next time.